forging cyber. Forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and I'm here today at Fed Cyber in Arlington, Virginia speaking with some of the awesome exhibitors they have here. Right now I'm speaking with Enoch Long. He is the Security Client Architect for Splunk. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having us. Definitely. Thanks for speaking with me. I'm so excited to learn all about Splunk. So what can you tell us about it? Absolutely. So Splunk is a big data analytics software platform for machine data. Okay. Um, when you talk about machine data, we're talking about web sites, we're talking about applications, we're talking about servers, we're talking about network devices, security devices, as well as mobile devices. We collect this data to gain operational intelligence, to monitor infrastructure, and to gain insight into any kind of user behavior versus web transactions and things of that such. Okay. Um, what are some of the security capabilities of Splunk? So um, Splunk has a tremendous amount of security capabilities, but I'll focus on four. So the fact that Splunk is a platform that is able to collect raw data from security devices across your network, that is a key aspect of a capability, being able to collect this raw data in full fidelity uh, for analytics. The second piece is we have a search processing language, a patent search processing language that allows you to do statistical and mathematical um, analytics to dive deep into this data and its full fidelity for forensics. We also have an API SDK framework, which is very important for security um, um, organizations that have legacy systems, that have legacy active defense systems that we can integrate with and still give them a 360 view of situational awareness. And the last um, security capability is we have a SIM um, component called Enterprise Security. And this is for being able to um, develop signatures, rules, alerts, and correlate this data to give you a security monitoring picture for those types of 365 events. Definitely. Now, the security landscape has changed quite a bit recently. How is Splunk addressing this? Absolutely. So, unfortunately, um, of recent news, you hear a tremendous amount about the insider threat. Um, and it's not new or nothing like that, but it's definitely something that has reoccurred back out there. So, one of the things that Splunk, once I say it, once I said before, one of the things that Splunk does and do greatly in a sense is being able to collect user information and correlate that user activity or behavior information with enterprise network data and bring that data into one centralized location for um, analytics, for monitoring, for reporting, and it gives you that 360 view. Also, you hear a lot of tremendous about a lot of different policies coming down from government organizations, different administrators, and that plays in the role of compliance and audit um, um, regulations. So Splunk, with its being a platform, we're able to build templates for continuous monitoring, FISMA, and other um, compliant components that you can build and customize for your own organization. Okay. Now, how can cyber professionals benefit from using Splunk? Oh, that, that's a great question, by the way. So when you talk about different cyber professions and how you align that with the different technologies, you have cyber system administrators, you have cyber incident handlers, and you have cyber forensics analysts. Um, being able to collect from infrastructure data across the board of an enterprise, being able to analyze and um, do metrics evaluation, that's a big key for Splunk, so that helps out a cyber administrator from, for a cyber forensics analyst, being able to capture that data in raw text and being able to do keyword searches, free text searches, and the statistical and the mathematical analysis that you get with our um, language, you're able to do dive deep into that. From an incident responder capability, the fact that we have a SIM component that allows you to write uh, real-time rules, real-time alerts, reports, and correlate that data, that's huge for just security monitoring analysts. So those three aspects are key um, cyber professions that align directly with our um, product. Okay. Now, I noticed that Splunk has some really cool t-shirts. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? So, um, my favorite... Let me see if I can find it over here. This one's mine. I That's like big favorite? data, and I cannot lie. 
I'm a security warrior kind of <laughs> guy. So I think there's a security warrior um, T-shirt here. It might be under. Oh, this one. Absolutely. Weapon so, of a security weapon warrior. Weapon of a security warrior. That's my favorite. <laughs> I and like that's that. what we like to promote to security warriors across the nation. Right. That makes sense. Well, Enoch, thank you so much for speaking with us. It was great to learn about Splunk. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Okay. Definitely. Now, you guys at home, make sure you don't miss any of the interviews we're doing here at Fed Cyber. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, Secure Ninja TV. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.